And test method B? Okay, in this portion of it, um, you have to do test, test method A first, and then we're determining the critical acceleration change for the damage boundary curve. So in this portion, we use a trapezoidal shock pulse, and then we take the information from the first test, and we multiply your velocity change by at least 1.57. Two is typically used in industry. And then we uh, apply the shock pulse to the product and then determine the maximum fared acceleration and the velocity. To make, you have to make sure that those you've achieved your velocity level. And then after the first drop, we do an inspection to the product and make sure no damage has occurred. And if no damage has occurred, then we increase the acceleration until failure occurs. And then once we get all those data points, we graph it here. So in here, your velocity change is not changing, but we're increasing the maximum fared acceleration for each drop until failure occurs. And then you get this critical acceleration line.